Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do you know what day this is? That's right. The applause says it all. It's VR Thursday on The Bob Doyle Show with The Bob Doyle Show dancers and me as Bob Doyle. In the room, we have Sarah and we have Irma and we have Sarah and we have Don, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, we are really trying some crazy, funky stuff today. So, we'll just ask for your patience and uh, just hope that you can join in the hilarity. We're showing off all kinds of new camera tricks today, all sorts of special effects. We're going to learn how something this crazy ended up in the show. But right now, we're just going to let the dancers finish. Well, the dancers finished. Or did they? All right, so now from time to time, Dawn will uh, show me. Go ahead and show me. I'm waving to you. This is me in my, well, this is my pajamas, basically. So, funny story. Now, first of all, normally I talk like this when I am this man. But the thing is, it is very exhausting. I cannot continually do this over and over and over every single week. Plus, I find that sometimes you cannot even understand what I'm saying. And then, for, therefore, I would have to right uh, that is the word right uh, out whoops i'll drop my pen out uh, and then i would write everything but that would be too time consuming now ladies and gentlemen i seem to keep talking like this even though i said i would not what is that about i do not know let us look at the comments when i turn my hand like this which looks very uncomfortable doesn't it I am reading the comments. I see Emma Seem is here again. Oh, it looks like this. the comments are not scrolling properly. Let me go push a button. See if it helps. The comments are not scrolling properly. Let me go push a button. And it's just making noise. Okay. We are back. I'm going to stop talking like this now because seriously, it gets a little cumbersome. Today is going to be more of a sort of an educational kind of thing. I'm going to show you some of the, the cool tech stuff of this, more than it's being this like, let's just laugh and laugh and laugh all day. I'm gonna kind of nerd out on you a little bit. And we're in Flipside Studio, which is the program that I use currently. There's two programs that I've been using to broadcast live in VR. This is the one of choice right now because of the, of the ability to like switch cameras like this. Now, how cool is that, right? Import custom props, which I'm gonna be sharing, like this one here. This one I made in another program that we're going to do a walkthrough in just a few minutes so you can see how this is done. Obviously, I made the Bob Doyle Show mug, right? This one is probably closer to the uh, Shauna versions than my official one because I had to, you know, literally write out Bob Doyle Show. You'll see kind of how that works. We got Denise in here. David Paul is watching, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for David Paul. That's some applause. That's a cue for applause. Thank you. See, now we're, we're trying all kinds of fun stuff. Dawn is actually remote producing, meaning pushing buttons, sound effects, things like that. We've never been able to do that before. So we're, again, pushing the envelope. Oh, do I wish I had an envelope prop right now that I could literally push. Now check this out. I'm going to, uh, I pop back. See, I'm way back here. I'm gonna, 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 that's just, that's just nervous uh, chatter here. Hold on, I'm gonna try this again. Gonna bring the camera around here. Now, <clears throat> yesterday on the show, I mentioned that one of the props that I have found, now let me, let me back up. <laughs> See, I literally backed up. See what I did there? <laughs> That's how that works. All right, thank you. One of the, <laughs> there's a whole library of props out there. You can make them, you can borrow them from other people. And I did a combination of both. This penguin here, didn't do it, somebody else did. I should be giving them credit, but I, I don't know who did it. All right, so we're going to throw the pain away. But one of the more interesting props that I found was this. Now, this is called, the label of it is ba a plant basket. But as I, was, as I was, you know, experimenting yesterday, playing around in here, and started holding it and looking at it, I thought, you know, this is where Sarah's going to chime in. Let's check right now. Let's look at the comments now and see what happens. It's going to take a second because, of course, there is a delay unfortunately. One day, one day we'll get past this. Chris is here as well, and Kathy, and Krista, hi, from Aubrey, Texas, and you said hi yesterday, and I didn't say hi because I missed it. 
can't see everything, you know. Let's uh, ah, look at that. See, I'm feeling a little, uh, I'm feeling a little lizardy today. Ever felt like that? Is this a lizard? I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to call it a lizard. All right, let me, uh, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna change the camera angles again. Now this is, everything I'm doing in terms of changing camera angles, it's a total hack. Now all of these, the controls to change the cameras and all the stuff that I'm hacking my way through, they're going to be built into this program. A lot of this stuff that I'm having to do workarounds will be built into the program so that I don't have to do all this cumbersome stuff. Like for example, my hands are up in the air. If I have to, if I wanna change, I know you guys don't care about this, just listen anyway. What else, what, what else you got to do? So, got my hands in the air. Now I have to actually jump out of sort of VR. I can't make any facial expressions, but my mouth moves. I can change the camera angles, then I come back in, and then it does. When they fix this, then I'll be able to. My hips, hold on, how can I, how can I make that? Now, see, I don't actually, I can't, I don't have a controller on my hips. I'm not sure how that's happening, but that is a, that right there. Yeah, that's what I'm I wish we had some some swank music. Play the Bob Doyle show, show theme for a second there, Don. It's up there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no, shit. I just realized. Oops. See? Look what you made me do. I realize I'm doing that, and then she can push the show Bob at any time. All right, well, who cares? All right. Press the button again. Stop the music had some fun with that huh all right let's check out the comments we got tracy in the room hi tracy way too much fun that's right that's what we do here we take it up to the fun part and then we push it to way too much we do a lot of pushing we push envelopes and then we push way too much now now before i have been unable to show you uh, i always talk about like this now i'm holding it right now i'm going to show it to you in a second so just calm down a palette, this magical palette, which you cannot see right now, which I'm about to show you, where I choose all my props and all this other stuff. So I'm gonna have to do something a little awkward right now. Just lean over, click a button. Now you can see it. And you can also see all the other stuff that makes the scene work. But this is, uh, this is the magical palette and what I see when I'm creating things. So here are all my characters and I can scroll through. Now there's not that many, but this program does allow you to I'll create custom ones. Actually, let me change the camera here so you can maybe see a little bit better. All right, that's a little bit better. So I can page through the people. So if I want to change into this dude, I just grab him or her. Hi. All right. This is a very androgynous character. Not quite sure. That's the thing about this. There now here now. I know I didn't finish that sentence. It happens. It's the Bob Doyle show. Were you not aware? These characters here, I don't know if you can really, how well you can see them, but let me see if I can get really close. These guys here, they look a little different. These are custom characters that can be brought in from other programs. However, at this time, I have not been able to make them talk. So I love this guy. Who wouldn't love this guy? But he doesn't talk. He would be the host of the show. Right? It would be, let me, let me turn these off. Again. And there's also something wrong with his hands. Like I'm having to hold my, I'm having to hold my hands very jinky. But again, he doesn't, I mean, he can pick up the mug, but it's, look how far away his hand is. And it's just, you know, it's a little, it's a little weird. So they, you know, it's all a work in, pro it's all a work in progress. Let's go back to, uh, to our standard guy here. But they don't have, un, whoops, unlike the uh, other program I use, they don't even have a guy that looks even remotely like me. It's, it's this dude or, or these others that just don't look like Bob Doyle. But maybe, just maybe, that's all going to change. All right, let me look around because there's a prop here that I want to show you that is somewhere. But you know what? All right, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to jump into edit mode. So now you see what I see. I hope to God. All right, so in, in this mode, this is where you can create the scene, change the size of things. Like if I wanted this prop to be more ginormous, I could do that. Change the size of the mic. Whoops. Change the size of the change the size of the microphone to make it big. All of these things are created here in edit mode. And obviously you can see there's the camera there. 
There's a camera here. There's a camera set up over here, right? Pretty cool. And then the, uh, this is where then I can choose my props. And so the props that I, that I can choose from are all in this little palette here. So what I wanna do, oh, that's right, you can't see the palette. So just trust me. Um, so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I make these. Not that you care, not that anyone wrote in and said, Bob, here's the thing. Oh, that's right. I know the music starts. I forgot every time I go back into to, to this broadcast mode, the opener's gonna play. But see, I had a backup plan. I stopped it on my own. Pretty good, huh? All right, so what I'm gonna, thank you. I hear, I hear Don applauding, but I don't hear real applause. <sighs> so I'm just waiting. There we go, all right, thank you. Also, this is real fun. I was thinking, how fun could it be if we, if we could figure out, and the only reason we can't do it is because of the delay. But we could play Pictionary, right? Like you, like I could have something in mind and draw it, and then the first person to guess what I'm, no, that's just a face. There's no Pictionary skills involved. But does this not just scream Pictionary? Right, we could just, the, the fun and creativity of just drawing and then you guessing. What's neat about this is obviously we're drawing in three dimensions. So I can do hair that flies back in the wind, right? A beard that comes out here. And then there you go, there's a three dimensional face. Oh, hold on, knock the phone off the hook. Odd because, you know what, I, this isn't working. I have called the company over and over. there's no dial tone, there's no nothing. Look at that, and the thing is, this doesn't make any sense. The dial pad is over here, and by the way, only four numbers. Very limited amount of people you can call. Look, I digress. I wanna show you how I build these props. You see how this got ginormous, as we did that together? I wanna show you how we build these props, and it's done in another program called Google Blocks, and so wait, don't put, 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 it's a program called Google Block, so we're gonna, I'm gonna jump into that, well, I keep, I, I, all right, hold on, stop talking, Bob, because what I'm doing is I've given Don a very specific cue to run a video to show you this, and I keep almost saying it. So I don't want her to do it until I'm ready, so I have to choose my words very carefully, which I'm not doing. Real quick, like, Sarah's here, Deborah Lee. Hi, Deborah Lee, good to see you. And uh, Chris, bow, chicka bow, that's good, this is the best comment of the day. And Tina is here as well. All right, well, welcome to all of you. You're watching VR Thursday on the Bob Doyle Show, if you didn't put that together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we go into this program to create these objects and then bring them in. So let's jump into Blocks. Okay, here we are in Blocks, which is a program that allows you to create what they call low poly objects, which means they aren't very complicated, they don't take up a lot of memory, which is perfect for a program like this. The downside is that the things that you build are fairly simple. You're using primitives like cubes, spheres, cones, uh, cylinders, and toruses to build your things, but then you can modify each of them. So let's just, why don't we just kind of create sort of a little, a little creature of some kind. We'll start with just um, a sphere and I'll just create sort of like a body, all right? Now we can color all this stuff later. And what am I, let's see, I'm gonna just create a sphere here. And I can move it, sorry, here, and I'm gonna actually duplicate it. Okay. And let's just continue to, uh, let's see, I wanna, no, 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 there we go. Let's mm. move that, duplicate that. All right, and let's see. Just, we'll color all this later. All 
I have done very little with this program. So I'm not an expert at its, uh, at its, um, some of the more detailed stuff. So I'm just creating a very simple little character here. <clears throat> One of the things with insert stroke, you can, now I can scale this up as I'm working on it or scale it down. Just gonna draw, make this small and draw like a little smile. And then I'll go to another shape here Taurus, choose black, and I'll just create, right? We'll go through and we'll paint the various pieces. Can you guys hear that wind in the background? I don't know if you can or not, but that's, it's crazy. We've got a high wind warning as I'm recording this here in Vegas. Now, one of the things you can do is modify, and when you do that, you can see that, that we've got a couple of options. I don't want to boggle your mind, but we have reshape, subdivide, and extrude. If I click extrude, and as I click this, as I choose this, it I can pull it out, right, and extrude it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and undo both of those things. The difference with uh, reshape, that see what it does is it pulls that whole piece out and, and everything connected to it. So it's not just the one face, but the whole thing. And I can also uh, find the, I can even get down to the points. So there's a lot of detail there. And then when I go to paint, I can choose to paint the entire object or paint the face, which each of these little subdivisions here is a face. So if I wanted uh, these to be, I don't know, gray right here, I'm trying to get the Right, so I'm just painting those particular faces. And then if I wanted maybe light gray here, just subtle little differences. I'm just doing this obviously just to make a multicolored little object here. I'll go back and insert the shape again, get little circles. And let's see, this is a glass uh, color here. So I'm just going to kind of just create let's, let's make uh, fingers here. Okay. Obviously not spending a lot of time to craft something too detailed. Let me get rid of that. It's not even touching. And a nose, of course. So let's see. Uh, shape and just use the cylinder because I haven't get all right so there we oh wait hold on we need to paint his butt properly I don't know what's with the pointy feet let's get rid of those that doesn't make any sense at all Let's get a real, uh, a real shape again. Find black. All right. So there's our little dude. He's going to change everyone's life. So now what we do? I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to publish it. And when I publish it, it's going to open up a window on my web browser where I take the next step. So we'll do that next step now. So now we're in the browser. So forgive me, I'm talking through the headset, so I'm a little off mic. We see a preview of our little guy, and we'll call him Happy, right? And we'll call him a creature. Sure, why not? We'll go ahead and make this unlisted. People don't need to be seeing this right now. And then we publish it. This is the first step. Now this uploads it to Google Poly, which is a website where you can find all sorts of other objects, which is what I've done. And you can download other people's objects and uh, remix them or do whatever. But this, 
this, I've got this one, and now I need to download it as what's called an OBJ file, which is a 3D uh, graphic format. I know from experience that to do that, I have to refresh this page before I get that option. So I've done that. I can go over here to download, click on OBJ file, and call it happy. Download the zip file, which will only take a second. I'm going to actually open up the zip file, show you over here, extract it exactly just to its default. And now I've got these two files, a metal, an MTI, uh, it's a materials file, not metal, materials file and the actual object. So now what I need to do is go to flip side to where I can import the object. And all I really have to do is drag this model OBJ file here and then drag this MTI, uh, MTL file here. And I don't need this, click on add prop. Take me to the next step where I create a thumbnail for the image so that when I look at the, my menu of objects, this is what I'll see. So I'm gonna click on save thumbnail. What's this prop called? Why it's called happy for the millionth time. Attribution text, I really don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna type, oops, creative commons. Should this prop be movable? Yes. Should it be affected by gravity? Yes. Should it spawn new copies when it's grabbed? No. So save changes. And that's it. Now I can see my entire list of props that I've created or imported or modified. For example, this Cody dog thing was uh, somebody had done a dog and allowed remixing, which means that I was able to add like the, the furriness and change the colors and things like that to make it more Cody-like. All right, so now I've got uh, all these in there. So now let's jump back into Flipside and see what I do with it. All right, in theory, we're back. If we're not, I'm sad. <laughs> but let's pretend I'm happy. Let's pretend we're back and let's pretend we see this right here, right? Now. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I must be extremely fatigued for some reason. Bob Doyle had coffee. This cup is too small when I'm in this mode. This is like an espresso shot. That's not... You know, look, and there's no, there's no bottom on this mug. It's amazing. It doesn't spill out all over the, okay, let's stay focused, shall we? Will you stay focused? I will, if you will. You go first. Are you focused? Because there's really no way for me to know. Okay, let's just, and then we're in the prop section. This little arrow here gives me the custom ones. And look, here's Happy. See what we did? Now he becomes a part of our world. We can make him very big. If you want big happiness, or if you just want small happiness, and then you have to... So we'll make a big happy and a little... Whoops, that one disappeared. Let's try that again. All right, he'll just float in the air for the time being. He'll fall down on the ground, and the music will start playing, neither of which I really want to happen, but that's what's going to happen in a second. Let me uh, let's show you a couple of others. Look. I mentioned this in the video. Well, I didn't. Bob did. I'm clearly not Bob. Look, it's, it's like a Cody dog. It was a Corgi. I turned it into a Cody by putting these little frills on it. Look, it looks just like him. That's him tilting his head. That's one of his cute things he does. All right, put the Cody dog down. Now I'm going to go back in here. Boom. Now, hold on, because the music's going to start playing. i got to fix that. And this, and this. Nope. Nope. What's happening? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, we're back. You can't see this now. Look at this ginormous Cody. He was never this big before. I don't know what Lynn is feeding him now that I've gone. Is she feeding Cody? Yes, Bob. That's how he talks. Is Lynn feeding you? Oh, define feeding. He has a funny voice. What can I tell you? Uh, you know, gives you food every day. Uh, every day? All right, never mind. Cody, go walk over there. I don't want to hear about trouble. And here's our little happy. And here's our big happy. How fun is that, boys and girls? On a scale from one to 10, I'll wait for your answer. 
Lots of steps is true. Hold on. I want to be, I don't want to be this person anymore. It's too laborious to talk like that. Not that it is not laborious to talk like this because it absolutely is. Let me get the cup of my coffee and drink it. See, it is normal size for me now. Here's what I, I'm going to take a request. I know we do not have that much time. That clock on the wall, it is wrong. It says it is perpetually three o'clock. Not true, obviously. Who needs this plain old coffee mug anymore? Wouldn't it be great to have a glass breaking sound effect? Note to self. Hold on. I told you this phone doesn't work. Stop calling me here. What's wrong with these people? Okay. I do not know what time it is. So Don, tell me what time it is. 7.56. It's 7.56. Perhaps you heard her say it. Because now we have a special way that she can talk to me. Because sometimes emergencies may happen. Say hello to everyone, Don. Hello to everyone, Don. Oh, do you see what she did there? She is a jokester. She wins the happy award. We give her a little happy? Or do we give her, I do not know, big happy or some old big happy all the way across the room. Shall we, oh, I almost forgot. This shall be a wonderful, uh, not exactly grand finale, but there is a feature that I keep forgetting to show you. It is called this a puppet feature. You will not see, you will shall only see the effects. Watch this, are you ready? I'm gonna jump all over the room. I can move in impossible ways at impossible speed. I am a crazy person. I can, oh. but if I let go of the controller by accident, I am back where I started. How fun is this? Shall we do it again? Yes, we shall do it again. It is too fun. I can even grab the coffee mug and drink it and jump and jump and jump and jump. Mm. All right, I just need to calm down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this has been in form ma ha tiv informative. Wait a minute, I didn't hear. Oh, I see. Sarah gave me an 11. We went to 11 on that one, I hope. It would be nice if we even had 11 viewers right now. <laughs> That's what you got to do. How many people I got to tell? What's going on? Mark, when you're done talking to Congress, could you please just help me out with my reach? I mean, what's a guy got to do? Come on. All right. Let's do that. I cannot, I cannot not talk like this. It is not right to just talk like Bob Doyle when I'm in this man's Personage, is personage a word? I do not know. Embrace me, my sweet embraceable. <laughs> that is what I was talking about. Too hard on the throat. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask Don to start the theme so that we may exit this program. But not without a dance. I hope I am in rhythm with the dance. Let us grab the little happy. I can punt over here and grab Big Happy. Ha ha. Da 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 da. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on the Bob Doyle Show. It's the thing we do every day. Tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. More of the same. Ladies and gentlemen, goodbye. I shall see you later. Fate to black. I will dance my way out.